everybody and welcome today in this video you will see a real treat we will show you a setup of a real live PD testing of a medium voltage 30 kilovolt cables so this will be a let's say more than anything a practical example and I will guide you through this quite short video explaining what we did in this case so let us start let us start with this setup and let me show you what have we done here so first of all one thing you could see you can see is that we have a source this is a high voltage source you will later see the control box for this source and get, this can go up to 50 kilovolts even more today we are using not more than 30 this is the output of that source and it's bringing high voltage directly to our first sensor. Now this sensor here is called a capacitive divider. This sensor here has one input and it has two outputs. Now these two outputs, remember this is red color and this is black color, these two outputs are actually, the red one is high frequency which means through that output by using this coaxial cable which is directly connected to the acquisition unit we send a PD signal. That PD signal is received both from the source, the source definitely has a very low PD signal but it has some, and also a PD from the cable which is you will see connected in parallel. And also there is a black output, the black coaxial cable which is a low frequency signal which is 50 Hz signal because we know that we need also the sync or synchronization signal or 50 Hz signal in order to correctly interpret the type of PD. So moving on, by the way this sensor is a 50 kV sensor so it can go up to 50 kV and you will see how neatly the cables, high voltage cables are connected in order to avoid any let's say unnecessary corona, so any unnecessary noise and from here in parallel you will see that we have a connection to the cable itself so let's see now we are connected to the cable now let me explain this is a corona shield a corona shield is a small metallic device which again physically prevents the generation of corona which might interfere with your tests of course with our software we can remove that noise, but if we can help our software with some, uh, let's say, uh, hardware interventions, then we do it. So through this cable, this blue pinkish, no, sorry, blue violet cable, we bring the voltage to the cable. And also, what you can see is that this particular phase consists of four cables: cable one, two, three. And four and this is just phase one you will see later four cables of phase two and four cables of phase three uh, moving on let us observe that this connection is done very tightly to avoid as we mentioned all possible corona and we can also see that all the rest of these the rest of these cables all of them are grounded they are grounded because there will be some mutual induction and that mutual induction we want to send to the ground, we don't want it to interfere and also for safety reasons we grounded all these uh, cables which belong to the same phase essentially. So this is now let's say phase A and here you can see let's say phase B these are also grounded, they're their phases are grounded and this would be let's say phase C also grounded to avoid for safety reasons and for clarity of measurement any mutual induction. Now what you see here is our second sensor. Why do we have two sensors? Well first of all I'm going to say that this sensor is called HFCT, High Frequency Current Transformer. You will see that this is also a coaxial cable which has a yellow 
marking and later you will see how they are connected to acquisition unit so they're directly connected to acquisition unit and this second sensor is put around the grounding wire of the cable we are testing you will see that in a second but the reason we have two of these is simply because we want to have a better Mm, better picture, better insight and better context, especially since the capacitive divider is more sensitive and that's why we are connecting directly capacitive divider, it is directly physically connected to the cable, but on the other side indirectly we connect an HFCT because HFCT also being very sensitive gives us something more, it gives us the understanding of the directionality. So I mean let me put it like this, you can understand whether the fault, whether the PD will be coming from this side or will it be coming from this side. So in practical terms it means if it comes from this side it's, it comes from the ground which means it's a noise and if it comes from the left side it comes from the cable. It's something you cannot see with the HFCT but it is definitely something you can see with the H, uh, <clears throat> sorry, you cannot see it with capacitive coupler, you can see it with HFCT and here you see that they are grounded. The grounding wires of other cables are open and we are just repeating here the whole uh, presentation of setup around the grounding wire. As you can see we put HFCT and we connected that grounding wire as we said to the ground. Phase B that consists of four cables and also phase C consists of four cables. So now shortly we will also move on to the acquisition unit. The acquisition unit which we will be using today is called a PD base 2 and the PD base 2 will be shown in just a few seconds. So we set up these cables of course right now these cables are all de-energized, we will be the ones energizing them and that's why we call this an offline test. An online test would be testing with the nominal voltage. So now this is the acquisition unit. The acquisition unit as you can see is called PD base 2 and you remember we had from capacitive coupler two coaxial cables, one was red and this is high frequency cable and this is going to channel 1. From HFCT we had yellow cable coming inside cable uh, channel 2 and the other cable from capacitive coupler coming out from capacitive coupler was a sync cable and this is synchronization 50 Hz signal. We still have two more channels and we also have fiber optic communicating with our computer from where we're taking the signal. PD base 2 is a very powerful test set, it is essentially uh, an oscilloscope, but it is an oscilloscope which has ultra wide bandwidth from 16 all the way up to 48, 16 kilohertz to 48 megahertz and you can use it in a lab or as you can see in the field and with this excuse me, unit you can test cables, rotary machines like generators and motors, you can also test GIS, medium voltage equipment or a transformer, it's just the type of sensor that changes. So after connecting to this unit we are just showing you the connection of the control unit and this is the overall setup how we have done this test. So I hope you've understood how the setup goes and in the upcoming videos we will see some more details. I also hope that now you understand a little bit closer how this is done, it's demystified a little bit and once again this is an offline test in comparison to online test, online test would be done while the cables would be generating, while the cables would be not generating but transmitting power and in that case we would be just using the HFCT since in that case we cannot touch the conductor itself. So in this case we generate onto a sensor directly which is connected to the cable, we have two sensors and we are connected to the acquisition unit. So thank you for your attention and hope to see you soon again.